Hi guys, this is triangle congruence uh, day three, and we need to go over a couple things before you get started on your notes worksheet, okay? The first thing is that I am introducing uh, two ways that you can classify triangles as congruent. The first is what we call SSS, or what we actually say is side, 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 which means all three sides are congruent, which means the two triangles are exactly congruent. They're exactly the same. So you will see something like this, where you see triangle, and you see one, two, and three. So this is our original, and we are comparing it To something like this so we could say this triangle is congruent to this triangle sometimes they have letters a b c is congruent to d e f and the hash marks match up one two and three so we say triangle is congruent to triangle okay some most of the time the hash marks will already be there and you just have to look at what's given to you okay there's some tricky ones, some hidden ones. Sometimes they share a side. So something like this, where you actually have two triangles. So here's the first triangle and here's the second triangle. And sometimes they only have three, what looks like three markings, but they have kind of a secret marking here because they share this side so therefore it is congruent. So this is congruent by side, side, side. So that's kind of a hidden one, okay? The other one that we are introducing today is what we call side, angle, side. So it's side, angle, side. And yes, it has to go in that order has to be written side, angle, side. So sometimes you'll see something that looks like this. And these aren't exactly drawn to scale, sorry. But you can see that this is a side congruent with this side. Here's my angle, see my angle marking, how that's marking an angle. And this side here is marking a side that's congruent. So it's actually side, angle, side. Okay, it can also have this tricky one that's kind of hidden. And they share a side. Okay, and you'll only see this marking. So it's actually a side here that they share through the middle angle. These squares are angle and then this side down on the bottom. So it's actually side, angle, side. Okay, so let's move on now, keeping in mind on our worksheet that we only have side, angle, side and side, side, side to choose from. So what we're going to do is use what's given to determine, are the two triangles congruent? If they are, you state how they are. So side, angle, side, or side, side, side. Or you write not congruent because you don't have enough information. Okay. So the first one here, I see a side congruent with a side, so that's side. Then I see this angle, so that's angle. And then they share a side, so that's another side. So I'm gonna say these are congruent by side, angle, side. Okay, I'm gonna move actually down to number three. So here I see a side marked. Then I see this angle marked and then they share this side. So again, this is side, angle, side. 
Okay, going back to number two, I see this side marked. So there's my side. I see an angle marked here. Okay, and now this is like really, 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 really tricky because if I go side angle and this side I go side, my angle should be right here, but it's actually over there. So they're not in the same order. So they, I say this is not congruent because it doesn't go side angle, side angle. They're missing angle. I can't skip this and go over there to the angle and grab it. Okay, now looking at number four, okay, I have side angle. Here's my A, and I went side, but what am I missing right here? It's not over there, it's right here, side, angle side, side, missing. So it's again, not congruent. Okay, moving to number five. I see side, the same, so that's a side, side. So there I have side, side, side. Skipping to number seven, I see side, side, side. So again, I have side, side, side. Jumping number six, I have side, three markings. They share a side, and we also have the two markings side. So again, I see side, side, side. How about number eight? I see side, angle, side, angle, and then they share a side. So I have side, angle, side. Moving to number nine, I see side, angle. Here I see side, but I'm missing my angle. It's not there, it's over there. So these are not congruent. Okay, here side, angle, side. So I have side, angle, side. Okay, so that was your first lesson on side, angle, side, and also angles, and then also side, side, side. Check your answers, check your uh, congruence C, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.